Hi, I'm Michael Leeserman. I'm a truck accident attorney. I'd like to talk to you about truck driving at nighttime. Drivers must drive at a speed that allows them to stop within their sight distance. This means they cannot overdrive their headlights. Truck drivers must go slow enough to be able to stop within headlight range, which is about 250 feet with low beams on and 300 to 500 feet with high beams. The Commercial Driver's License Manual says that trucks are a greater risk when driven at night. This is due to adjusting vision in the dark, glare, fatigue, poor lighting situations, drunk drivers on the road, and dirty windshields and mirrors. There are laws that help guarantee a truck can be seen at night. This includes clean and properly working reflectors, marker lights, clearance lights, tail lights, and identification lights. 49 CFR 391.11 and .13 speak to conspicuity systems and to specific placement of lights. Safety standard number 108, found at 49 CFR section 571.108, goes into incredible detail about placement of lights and reflectors in terms of how many millimeters wide they have to be and exactly where they have to be placed. To drive safely at night, a truck driver must perform the usual pre-trip inspection, paying close attention to make sure all lights, reflectors, and windows are clean. A sleepy driver must stop at the nearest safe place to do so. 49 CFR 292.3 says that a driver shall not operate and their company shall not require them to operate a truck when they're likely to be impaired. This can be due to any cause, including illness or fatigue. Tire truckers are a huge problem on our highways. A crash is about 10 times more likely to be fatal when a large truck is involved. The only cure for fatigue is sleep. This is serious. I've been guilty of driving while tired in the past. Thank goodness I never caused an accident. But after receiving truck driving training and seeing the devastation a tired driver can cause, I've made a personal commitment that when I'm tired, even if dinner's on the table and I know my wife will be mad if I'm late, I pull off the road and I take a 20 minute nap. There is no truckload so important, no personal obligation so pressing that justifies any driver on the road risking the lives of others.